We are at CanTech 2019 to bring you the top tech stories of the moment and to share his top technology picks. We are joined by Robert McWhorter, the President and Portfolio Manager at Selective Asset Management. Robert, welcome to Small Cap Power. Thank you, glad to be here. So your sixth year at CanTech, how have you seen uh, the whole technology industry evolve from the window of CanTech and how does this, uh, uh, what do you make of this year's conference? Well, the conference continues to grow in size. Uh, interestingly, there's now a variety of different industries, meaning gaming as well as uh, weed companies that you've never had in the past. Uh, but there continues to be a lot of uh, industrial technology companies as well that uh, offer up some interesting investing opportunities. And the uh, keynote speakers and the moderators uh, that have been presenting as well have also been uh, great learning experiences. Esports seems to have uh, stolen the spotlight from blockchain this year. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> Uh, we have uh, previously had an investment in enthusiast gaming. Uh, the outlook for it looks pretty good. Uh, the whole space seems to be uh, kind of gelling. People are suggesting it might be as large as the NFL or bigger. There's certainly uh, large audiences for it. Uh, the question at the moment is uh, how do you end up uh, effectively making money off those audiences? And uh, I think that's really the kind of challenge that enthusiasts and others face over the coming 12 months. Do you, have, do you have any top picks, uh, companies, stocks that stand out for you from Cantic this year? Yes, uh, companies that I have met, uh, ones that basically were here last year as well as Baylin Technologies, symbol is BYL. Uh, these guys make uh, 200 million antennas per year for Samsung that go into cell phones. And now that you've got 4G and 5G uh, networks uh, kind of uh, building out, uh, they're working on a densification of the uh, antenna system. They now have devices that are 20% uh, smaller than the competition, which is important for cell tower companies. And also they're working on one that's uh, two inches in diameter, five foot tall. They can pop that on the top of a street light so that you can end up having them quite uh, um, well spread through uh, various municipalities. From the biotech space, uh, Promise Neuroscience, uh, they're targeting antibodies to eliminate toxic misfolded proteins that are associated with Alzheimer's and, and uh, Parkinson's. It's a huge unmet need. Uh, Eden Rahim, who is one of the moderators, is really keen on the stock. Uh, I believe that they have something that looks quite uh, interesting as well. They're doing some uh, clinical trials. I think it will work out quite well. Another company that's here for the first year is Voti, which makes x-ray scanners for luggage and mail rooms. 2018 sales were uh, $23 million. They just did a recent uh, IPO slash uh, came public. Uh, they're at break even. Uh, they had expenses of approximately $2 million related to coming public. So uh, the expectation is on $23 million, they will actually probably have about $2 million worth of earnings. The advantage of the system is fast throughput, high resolution images, and they have AI detection uh, to end up looking at various threats as well. Uh, Another one is Cardiol, uh, which is a symbol is a CRDL. They have a hundred million market cap. Uh, they were on one of the panels this afternoon. They've got twenty-five million dollars of cash. They're looking to use CBD uh, to end up uh, addressing inflammation in the heart. They're expending about seven million dollars per year on that research, so they have enough cash for at least two years worth of R&D. Cardiol has a, a license from the University of Calgary to end up uh, basically delivering the CBD, but the synthetic CBD. Uh, they are again have a license for all of Canada and uh, and Mexico and a lot of people are saying gee I just want CBD to help me with pain or sleep uh, these guys can deliver a product very quickly they're now spending a bunch of money to scale up towards that uh, and they're looking for uh, large retail pharmaceutical or pharmacy type uh, distribution channels to end up uh, doing well so overall a lot of companies for me to meet uh, but certainly a lot of very interesting uh, opportunities and uh, new companies like uh, Vodi and Cardiol that I've uh, met here today as well and lastly, Robert, what's your outlook for the technology sector in Canada for this year? We're quite keen. Uh, overall, we think uh, from a technical analysis perspective, it looks like, believe it or not, we might actually be starting a new four-year up cycle in the markets. Uh, and technology uh, in general should benefit from that. Uh, there are a lot of uh, small cap companies and mid cap companies that we think will, will do quite well. Wonderful. Robert, always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for your time. Great. Thank you very much for having me on.